Everybody hear me? Yes. Oh. How about that? Is that good? Good. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure I'm close enough. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and pray first. Lord, thank you for this day and this time. Please uh, help and guide us, Lord, and give us um, and give us a heart and a, and, uh, and a mind for your word. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Chapter 1. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, we'll start with verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all of Achaia. Grace be with you, and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as much suffering, for as much as the suffering of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abound by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering, which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of the suffering, so shall you also be the consolation. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble, which came to us in Asia, that we were passed out of measure, above strength, insomuch that we despair even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raised the dead, who, who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver in, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. You also helping together by prayer for us that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks be given by many on our behalf. So we have, uh, we have the, the fact that God's were, uh, Paul's reminding them that, that uh, we have a comfort in Christ, that we can be comforted in, even in trouble and distress, that God is with us, and, and we can have hope even in times of trouble. So we'll go to Psalm 23. Would you repeat that, please? Oh, Psalm 23. Okay, Psalm 23, we'll read the whole thing. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy, and thou anoints my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, good, uh, good remembrance from, from Psalms that uh, God is with us, that he is the one who guides us, he leads us, he's there to, to help us. He, he, he helps us sometimes by giving us a little prod, and sometimes he's got to whack us because we're, we're kind of going in the wrong direction. But, but, uh, but he, he, he cares for us, and though, although we maybe walk through some, some bad times, and we don't know what's coming in the future, but well, though we may walk through some bad times, he is with us, and we, have, we can have no fear. Uh, we have we have a reason to have no fear. We have hope. We have uh, we have a comfort that can come only from Him. Uh, we'll go to Psalm one nineteen. <clears throat> Psalm one nineteen. We'll start with verse forty nine. Psalm 119.49 Remember the word un, unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word has quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet I have not declined from thy law. I remember thy judgment of old. O Lord, and have comforted myself. So he's a uh, he's remembering that uh, God God has been there. That his his that although he has been through a lot in his life, and the people have have really oppressed him, they've really uh, given him a lot of trouble. Uh, his he, he has not departed from the word of the law. He hasn't. He hasn't departed from the Lord. He hasn't walked away. And and it and the Lord has been his comfort. The Lord has has been there. And although all the bad things, God has comforted him. And in that time, we'll go to Matthew eleven. Matthew 11, verse 28. Uh, Matthew 11, 28. Come up unto me, all, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of, of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. God has a rest we can find, a comfort of rest that we can find only in him. Our, our lives sometimes feel heavy, but yet, uh, but yet Christ is there. He helps, he lifts us up, helps us to carry the load that we can't, we can't really carry, especially when we're doing things in Christ, the stuff the, the, the stuff of our lives, when we're living in Christ, it gets more and more burdensome sometimes. But we remember, we can carry the load because we're not carrying it. Christ is carrying it. He's the one helping us, comforting us, supporting us in that time. Uh, Isaiah 41. Isaiah 41.10. <laughs> Isaiah forty one ten. Fear not, for I am with thee. 
Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will behold, I will uphold thee with my right hand of my, with the, with the right hand of my righteousness. So we have, we, we have, we, we, we have a comfort and we have no need to fear if, if we are following God and if we're with God. We have, we have uh, no reason to be, uh, to be troubled, to be dismayed. We know trouble's going to come. It's just going to come to, to all those who follow Christ. And trouble's normal in life. Us Christians get bonus trouble. <laughs> so it's just kind of the way it goes. So, um, But God God will uphold us. He will take care of us. He will lift us up. So I think we'll go to Psalm 91. Doing really good on time. Psalm 91 and verse 1. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth. Uh, shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and thy and my quarter. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that uh, that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at the noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, uh, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy inhabitants, there, there shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder and the young lion. And the dragon shall thou trample under his feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will, therefore will I deliver him. Uh, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. We have, uh, we have a remembrance uh, that that God is there, that, that God is there to keep us close, to hold us, to protect us against uh, against all that might come. That uh, we can we can have a safety with Him, and although all these things might happen, God's not ignorant of of, of any. He's not ignorant of what the wicked does. He's not ignorant of the things that we go through. And uh, we have this uh, this uh, this uh, nice thing at the end, uh, kind of a remembrance of, kind of a, a look towards Christ, and also a promise to us of what we would what we would have in God, and that we look and we turn to Him and call to Him, and and He will He will be there. He's going to hear us. So we uh, you get with this with this uh, psalm sometimes. You, you get people who will say that they, they take the Bible literally. Well, you can take it take it in context for what it is. This is one of those parts that's got figurative statements in it. God certainly isn't a chicken with feathers, but uh, but.
but yet uh, he uses that as a picture of, of, of who we are in him. We stick with him. So we'll go to John 16, last section. John chapter 16. John 16, okay. 33. Verse 33. <coughs> In John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now we can we, we know that in this world we will have trouble, especially if we stand for Christ. And the more you do for Christ, the more trouble you're gonna have. But um, as leaders and stuff who people who become leaders have found that uh, it, it becomes more troublesome at times. But yet we can have a peace that we can have from nothing else. The world can't give us the peace that God gives us. Can't give us a cheer in time of trouble. They can try to put on a good face, but when times are really tough, it's a, some of the stories of people who have been imprisoned for Christ, it's amazing what they went through, but yet God got them through it. They had a song in their heart in the toughest time. So we can know that we can be of peace and good cheer because Christ has already overcome the world. He's already beaten it. So there is, we have nothing to fear. So. We'll go ahead and pray. Lord, thank you for your word in this time. Thank you that we can remember that you are our comfort, our peace, our help in times of trouble. Uh, please be with us and help us through this week and guide us and give us a remembrance of your ways. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.